the Reaper Leviathan is single-handedly responsible for more than a few Subnautica freakouts, the game's most iconic danger noodle and also its biggest social media influencer, with the developers themselves crediting the Reaper for around 50% of the game's sales. The Reaper is the third largest aggressive creature in the game, clocking in at a massive 55 metres long. That's a whopping 25 metres longer than the largest ever confirmed blue whale, the largest living creature on Earth. That's the equivalent of just over 12 average family cars placed bumper to bumper. The Reaper has a long, thin body made almost entirely of muscle, with two large pectoral fins sticking out of its front and a further two dorsal and ventral fins stretching the length of its body. These six fins help the Reaper balance itself in the water correctly, with the front pectoral fins also giving the creature an increased degree of protection and armour. The Reaper also has four large tail fins to push it through the water at an incredibly fast speed, and all of the creature's fins and red body parts have a slight glow to them, which makes the Reaper ever so slightly easier to see in the dark. The Reaper's head has a large horn that can be used for ramming its prey, along with four eyes for watching your every move, and a mouth containing enough teeth to give a dentist nightmares for weeks. And to top off this apex predator's arsenal, it also has four mandibles with large black claws for gripping and pulling its prey into its mouth. Reapers hunt at great depths to compensate for their large bodies and to allow them to move quickly and effectively, and the creature's roar is enough to send a shiver down the spine of even the most experienced diver. The Reaper's roar acts as a form of echolocation, meaning it effectively acts as a sonar device. If you can hear the Reaper, it knows exactly where you are. It's possible that the Reaper is actually partly or entirely blind. The lack of pupils in its eyes and the use of echolocation could be a symptom of this lack of sight. This could also explain the four mandibles on the front of its body, which could be used for feeling its way around its environment, as well as grabbing its next victim. The Reaper seems to prefer attacking its prey from behind and using the element of surprise when possible. It will often circle the victim in question a number of times before picking its moment and making its attack. Many Reapers have been seen to have numerous scars running the length of their bodies and particularly on their faces, suggesting that Reapers often fight either other Leviathans or each other for dominance of territory. When it comes to making new little danger noodles, not much is currently known about how Reapers reproduce. No survivors or scientists have found any Reaper Leviathan eggs on 4546B, suggesting they may reproduce in a different way to most of 4546B's other creatures. In the crater, up to 25 Reaper Leviathans can be found, with 7 in the mountains, not that one, 8 in the dunes, and 10 in the crash zone. It's likely that before Kara wiped out life outside the crater, that Reapers were a common sight in 4546B's oceans. The Reaper can remove 80% of a diver's health when lacking adequate protection, so a reinforced dive suit is recommended when exploring areas with large Reaper populations. This will reduce damage to only 40% per bite. But don't think hiding in your tin cans is going to save you either. Vehicles aren't safe from the Reaper's wrath, with their jaw strength surpassing both the sea moths and the prawn suit's crush resistant capabilities. If a sea moth somehow ends up in a Reaper's grip, it will deal around 40 to 60% damage while it remains attached to the hull. The prawn suit does fare a little better, only taking 20 to 30% damage over the same period. When piloting a sea moth in a Reaper's territory, it's recommended to install the perimeter defense system to shock the Reaper into letting you go. But if you truly want to survive on this planet, then you're going to need to know a lot more about the vehicles you have at your disposal. So watch this video next to avoid getting turned into a tasty snack.